our environment animals plants physical components like air water soil and surroundings constitute the environment environment is that which includes living and non living components of our surroundings broadly speaking environment is divided into two types one natural environment two man made environment natural environment is divided into two types one abiotic environment two biotic environment abiotic environment physical components like light heat from sun air water and soil etc constitute abiotic environment soil and land region of earth is known as lithosphere water regions of earth is known as hydrosphere and gases in the air is known as atmosphere 1 solar energy sun is the main source of energy on the earth sun is 9 crores 9 lakh 60000 miles away from the earth all living beings on earth depend on sun for energy sun's radiation on earth is not equal because of elliptical shape of earth this is the reason for difference in temperatures in different places which led to the formation of deserts poles and temperate zones solar energy is the main source for growth and development of living organisms green plants use solar energy and prepare their food solar energy is also essential for some biochemical reactions in animal bodies air there are many gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen water vapor and others in the air surrounding us the composition of these gases is balanced in the air living organisms help to maintain this balance they cannot survive without air they breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide during respiration water 70% of earth is covered by water the body of living organisms consists of 70 to 75% of water water is used in many ways by animals and plants plants use water for photosynthesis germination of seeds and in absorption of salts nutrients and manure animals have lot of water in their body water is required for the transport of gases liquids and digested food also for excretion of waste materials reproduction and development soil soil covers 30% of the earth soil is formed from rocks hence it is called lithosphere top soft layer of soil is known as humus soil is necessary for the growth of plants it supplies nutrients salts to the plants it fixes the plant firmly bacteria which live in soil decompose the dead animals and plants and makes the soil fertile soil is essential for livelihood of living organisms biotic environment plants animals microorganisms fungi etc are the living components of biotic environment living components constitute the biosphere plants plants produce food for all living organisms on earth by using solar energy hence they are called producers plants prepare their own food therefore they are called autotrophs food products like cereals fruits leafy vegetables vegetables etc are obtained from plants animals animals cannot prepare food on their own they depend on plants and other animals for food directly or indirectly hence they are called heterotrophs based on food habits animals are of three kinds namely herbivores carnivores and omnivores herbivores animals that feed only on plants are called herbivores they consume plants and plant parts hence they are called primary consumers cow goat rabbit deer elephant 
ग्रास होपर एटसेट्रा कैर्निवर्स एनिमल्स दट फीड ऑन अदर एनिमल्स और कॉल्ड कैर्निवर्स एनिमल्स विच फीड ऑन हैर्बिवर्स और कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स एनिमल्स विच फीड ऑन कैर्निवर्स और कॉल्ड टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स लायन टाइगर चीता ओल्फ फॉक्स जंगल कैट टेम डॉग्स एंड कैट्स फिशेस स्नेक्स एंड सम काइंड ऑफ सी एनिमल्स ओमनिवर्स एनिमल्स विच फीड ऑन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स और ओमनिवर्स एग्जाम्पल ह्यूमन बींग्स बेयर क्रॉस स्पैरोस एट्सेट्रा डी कंपोजर्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच लिव इन सॉइल लाइक बैक्टीरिया फंगस डी कंपोज द डेड एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स एंड रिलीज डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर नोन एज डी कंपोजर्स इंटरडिपेंडेंस ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स Every living organism need food for energy. They depend on others for food or for some other requirements. Food chains. The link between the plants and animals for the sake of food is known as food chain. In a food chain, energy is transmitted from one level to another level. Interaction between abiotic and biotic components. Effect of light on living organisms. Sunlight is very important for the growth of organisms. Plants prepare their food in the presence of sunlight only. This process is known as photosynthesis. Plants show different responses to sunlight. Activity: Take two potted plants, take two cardboard boxes and make holes and place them over the plants. Water the plants daily. observe after a week it is noticed that plants bend towards the sunlight effect of temperature on organisms plants and animals show certain adaptations to different temperatures desert plants adapt to high temperatures by certain modifications they shed the leaves and store water in their stem to reduce the water loss through the leaves At high temperatures water is sent out through body in the form of sweat in human beings and animals desert animals have less hair on their body to sustain high temperatures example camel lives for 10 days without water it takes 3 to 4 buckets of water when water is available it stores water in its hump and uses water whenever it is required Animals in cold places have thick fur or hair. They have thick layer of fat under the skin. This prevents heat loss from the body. Example: Yak. Effect of water on organisms. Roots of plants absorb the salts dissolved in water. Density of water varies due to changes in temperature. Sometimes water turns acidic due to excess of rainwater, which resists plant growth. Water is necessary for seeds to germinate. Plants grow well when sufficient water is available. Effect of air on organisms. Air is a mixture of various gases. This is another important factor needed for plants and animals. Plants and animals on earth take oxygen from air. Aquatic plants and animals take oxygen dissolved in water. Animals take oxygen released by plants during photosynthesis. Plants use carbon dioxide released by animals for photosynthesis. Effect of soil on organisms. Plants receive nutrients directly or indirectly from the soil only. Humus, the top fertile layer of soil, is useful for growth of plants. Socio-cultural environment. Families human societies marriage system religions culture law festivals prayer halls agriculture centers business centers training centers entertainment centers etc are one part of socio cultural environment and buildings bridges roads industries etc which are constructed for the luxurious life of human beings 
or the other part of socio cultural environment man has cut down forests for want of land and built skyscrapers and making concrete jungles with advanced science and technology he established many factories and industries which led to environmental pollution